The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, says a new variant of COVID-19 has been detected in Nigeria and 15 other countries. The new strain, B125, which is different from the highly infectious B117, has however not been described as a variant of concern yet. Disclosing this at the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 briefing in Abuja, NCDC Director General Chikwe Ihiakwazu said that researchers and scientists were still working hard to understand if the variant had any effect on the virus transmissibility, immunity, as well as diagnostics, vaccines, and therapeutics. The update so far is that we've had 54 cases of the B117 variant, the variant of concern first detected in the UK, which is now the dominant strain. In fact, almost 100% of circulating strains in the UK are made up of this variant. We found 54 of them between November and February, so that's a significant number out of those we've sequenced. We've sequenced about 400 now altogether since the beginning of the outbreak. There were reports on a new strain, a B1525, uh, which we began to detect in Nigeria and a few other countries. It is important to note that this variant has not been classified as a variant of concern. Um, researchers and scientists are still working hard to understand if this variant has any impact on transmissibility, on severity, on immunity, on diagnostics, on vaccines or therapeutics, but we haven't found any yet. Now it's important to always remember that the, vir the risk of mutation is highest when there's a lot of transmission. So how do we prevent new mutants from, a new variant from emerging? We do that by preventing transmission from one person to the other by doing the things we know we need to do. The findings of this survey show that the highest estimated prevalence of SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in the population was 23% in Lagos and Enugu states. We found 19% in Nasarawa and 9% in Gombe. You will have all this information in the press release you will all get. We're still working to un have a better understanding of the SARS-CoV-2, which is the vir virus causing COVID-19, and the duration of the immunity that it offers.